everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa, taking a deeper look at the Shadow Realm Prospect cars. Here on a set of Corsa, we're at one of my favorite tracks I used to love testing on, BDC Rockingham. And we're going to go full send on a couple of these cars in the first episode of a few. And the first one up is that E36. So you guys know in, VD, in uh, ESDA last season, I piloted an E36. So why not come with this for the first car so let's go full send and let's get to it so overall the e36 is a very basic e36 and it's something you'd see in a very you know traditional drift environment with that stripped out nice cool back really like the uh chrome like livery that this car has so we're gonna go full send here this is a basic out of the box tune all i changed my braking to 80 80 and i changed the gear ratio to the second one at the list so we're gonna see how this works do two runs with it so initiation is a little bit Slipper. Did not grip as much as I thought it would. The car floats actually a lot. But overall, not too bad of handling. Nice and deep in that wall. Oh, we did not make that wall. We didn't make that. So we're going to go take a look at that run real quick. Just to see where we were actually at on track with this car. You can it's overall definitely a fun car. The initiation wasn't as snappy as I expected it to be. It wasn't as grippy as I thought it was going to be. It kind of floated a little bit more than I expected it to. But overall, it was not too bad. The overall line through that section was pretty good. So it was nice and deep there. So plus for that run. Throttle on power and everything is actually quite nice to power on command. So now we're going to run this one again. And we're going to run it in third person so we can see every aspect of the car. Then we're going to switch up to the next car. Take that deep dive into these cars. Yeah, see, it kind of floated way more than I expected it to. We're going to hit the wall. See, that's going to happen. Finish this run out, though. You can't paint the white line. It rotates real good on their left foot braking right there. A clutch kit stab there. Yeah, okay. I can definitely get down with this car. It's very stable once you get in angle. It's just the initial float of initiation. The car floats out a little bit further than I expected it to. So let's grab the next one and see where we're at. So the, the next one on the block is the E46. We're starting off with all the BMWs. So once again, a very basic E46, something you'd see in, you know, actual, you know, grassroots or, you know, entry level drifting. We got some hood dumps there. Oh, yep, very aggressive hood dumps. So we got, of course, you know, shout around and ESCA and Vosin, you know, shout out to Vosin and ESCA and everything like that. So the need for speed, most wanted paint this is the most noticeable thing on this car. So let's go full send. So kind of the same aspect as the first car. Who runs? See positions a little weird in this one off the rip. I feel like this car is going to be floaty too. So is it that? Oh, oh no, I didn't want to get rid of my... Onboard setting. Onboard setting, it's the pitch that's... Okay, so the pitch for me is a little weird. I don't like the negative pitches, but that's nothing against the car. That's something that easily can be changed. So, full 10. So, third gear bogs. Second gear's really short. Clutch kick's super nice, though. Oh, we're kind of just blogging this car down. Downshift it. Mm 
I'm not even gearing this. Okay, I think this might be a little bit better than the E36 so far. I guess if we can adjust that gear ratio though, because that gear ratio is a little off. Where are we at for gears? 85, 121. Wow, that's way up there. Oh yeah, all right. So we're gonna have to knock that down. Uh, which that should be okay. We'll try a 4-3 on the same gear ratio. I do like this one a little bit better than the E36, so there's that advantage. I'll have to go take a look at that first run, too. This didn't have as much float on initiation. Oh, but we're really into the wall. Why do I always do that? Alright. Alright. We're going to try this on that different gear change now. Oh. Definitely locks those brakes really easy, though. So far, I like this one a little better than E36. The float out is not as much. I thought we were going to hit that wall. The clutch kicked out. Gear issue change, though, is definitely what we needed. Wall tap. Just messed up my angle. Oh, man. Okay, so as I see the float, I wasn't there. That's definitely a little bit looser in the rear than I expected it to be. Not as much. Now, I definitely can dial in a grip if I wanted to, but I'm just trying to drive these how they are without a bunch of grip and see where we're at. So now let's take a look at that first run. Or not, because I don't understand why I don't have a run. Where, oh, I think I hit restart session. Well, overall, the E46 handles a little better than the E36. So let's change cars. So the next car on the list is the Corvette, which is, you know, VA power, something I'm really used to, something I run mostly all my pro cars. So, oh, this thing's loud. So we're going to see how this one works. Go in the first person and I can tell you I do not like the position of the first person view but that's not a fault to the car because that can be adjusted so we're gonna save that the Corvettes also don't really have the greatest view to begin with and I gotta turn my feet back down some oh all right hopefully we can get some grip in this car as I say is that we just whip a nasty donut that's like Super slippery, so not sure what gear we're gonna be. We're gonna try third, but we're actually gonna see where we're at. Third's not enough. Got a little bit of understeer though. Yeah, definitely a lot of understeer. That's weird that we're getting some understeer. Huh. We need to check that gear ratio. So there's a little bit of understeer in the vet. We do need to change our gear ratio some. Knock that down to where we want to be in like, yeah, about 95 in our gear that we want to run. So I'm very curious why we had some understeer. So that's something I'm very interested to see. Could have been the gear. The front of this car does feel a lot looser than the other car, the E36 and 46. Yeah, I'm getting some, a little bit of weird understeer feel. Could be definitely tuned out though. Yeah, there's a little bit of weird feeling in the front end of this, this car. Ooh, not terrible, but definitely would not be my pick. Now, like I say, you could probably tune that out and everything like that. So I think we're gonna take a look at one more car real quick. And the last car for today's episode is going to be 
this Mustang. So I did get a chance to drive against this Mustang again when Matt the Ginge was on it when we were at uh, English Town in one of the public servers before the LZ his basically his LZ tour training server. So very curious how this drives because he was driving it pretty well. So we're gonna go full send. Already like the wheel the wheel feel on this car a little bit nicer than obviously nicer than that a little bit better than the other two so of course we're gonna go through a lot of these cars and then give you my overall opinion on my top favorites go full send feels like a fourth gear car Maybe third to fourth and down to third. So overall, not too okay. I I kind of like the handling of this car so far, but I feel like the gear ratios are still a little bit weird for this track. So let's let's adjust that real quick. Drop down fourth gear a little bit. See if we can run it in fourth on this track. We're gonna try a second, second gear start. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. Come back to see more on these shuttle roam cars. Gonna be doing the remainder of the cars and then telling you which cars I like the most, taking them to some other tracks, and uh, tandeming with some friends as well. So let's go. Way more rear grip than all the other cars so far. The wall though. So gear ratio change definitely helped. The left will break ourselves in there, push kick into the zone. With that being said, that was a pretty solid run. But let me know down in the comments which of these cars that I did in this episode you think was the best, or if you do drive these cars yourself, which one you like the best. So as always, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.